507 on this Monday morning. And as the cost of pretty much everything continues to rise, affording meals is becoming a real struggle for more DMV families. And food pantries are working to help. But one in D.C.'s Ward 3 is in danger of closing as the need continues to just grow. Jess Arnold met up with the volunteers trying to keep it open. And she joins us now in the studio. And Jess, they tell you that this has become a lifeline for some families. Is that right? Exactly, Annie. The co-founder says the people will line up for an hour before distribution starts along Connecticut Avenue Northwest. They give out fresh produce, packaged meals, even cleaning supplies because food stamps don't cover those. So they really are hoping to keep it afloat. In a few hours, this unassuming back alley becomes a hub for the hungry. It's called Feed the Family Pantry and serves Ward 3. It's been good for them to know that at the start of each week, they'll start off their week with uh, a good, a good nutritious um, meal. That's Judith Ingram. She co-founded the pantry in May 2021 after connecting with fellow mutual aid volunteers. Then they fed about 50 families. Now that's more than doubled. This is very important because a lot of seniors have social security and by the middle of the month, they run out of money which is what's happening to me. Originally, the University of the District of Columbia gave them this space along Connecticut Avenue Northwest for free, but Ingram says they recently gave them notice to move out. She says after some back and forth, UDC has offered to try to help them find a new space, but it's not a guarantee. The concern would be that the people who've come to depend on this weekly service will face a new gap in their family budget. Data published in 2020 by the Capital Area Food Bank shows that the pantry sits right in an area with the most food insecurity in Ward 3. So Ingram says they want to stay nearby. There are people coming in wheelchairs. There are people coming on walkers. There are grandparents um, bringing their grandchildren from the surrounding buildings. Some people drive. Some people come on the metro. Some people come on bus. So they need to be in a spot that's reachable so they can continue to feed these families. Now, we have reached out to UDC multiple times for comment, but have been unable to get a response yet. Now, this food pantry passes out food and supplies every Sunday from 1 to 3 p.m. So if you live in Ward 3 and need that service, that's where you can find them through the end of July. We'll keep you posted on where they end up. Ladies. Jess Arnold, thank you.